Hi guys and welcome back. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions from people and I really appreciate the feedback. So one of the questions that we've got back was uh, people want to know how do we use FPJs for robotics and motion control. The other question I got was on image processing and another one was on encryption of your FPGA bitstream. Okay, so let's tackle the first issue. So the first one was on robotics and motion control. So if you head on over to a site called FPGA for Fun, this is a really good site. It has a lot of uh, resources that you can use for your FPGA development. So looking at the site fpjforfun.com, this is one topic that I found on FPGA motion control. So on this site, they talk about the basics and the concept of motion control on an FPGA. If you click next, you can see a little bit of the maths involved behind it. It shows you how to manage the movement, how to use linear motions on multiple axes. So this page shows you more or less on how to create your own CNC machine using stepper motors. And with the motion control that you learn, integrate that, those algorithms onto your FPGA. And then move on to different types of motion and movement using the FPGA resources. So if you want to learn how to create your own milling machine or CNC machine, I suggest you check out this website, read through it, and try and understand it before trying to implement it. That's a very important step. Okay, so moving on to the next question. So people who want to Im do image processing on your FPJ. So this is a field that I'm currently working on, but you have to get the basis correct. So first, you should start off with a test pattern. If you have a FPGA development kit with an HMI port, you can check out this page on fpjforfun.com and it shows you how to implement a basic HMI controller. But please note, all of this is in Verilog and not in VHDL. So if you want to code it in, in VHDL, you would have to convert some of this code or translate the code from one language to the other. And using that code, you can get like a Pong game going. Having a Pac-Man game going is a bit more complex and I don't think they cover it in detail on this website. Now, the next thing you can do is within the Pong game, if you don't have an HMI con connector, you can drive it via an, a VGA monitor. This shows how to get a VGA video signal from an FGA. It's quite simple, but it takes a, some understanding before you know how to implement this type of code. But read through all of this on the page and then try and get an idea of what is happening. Now to get an image, actual image onto the FPGA, you can either download it via Ethernet and you can use this Ethernet interface over here or you can get an SD card going. Or if that's something that you don't want to do, you can stream it via camera. And that is a bit complex, but a worthy exercise to do. Okay, so that covers two questions. Let's go to the third question, which is on Zang's encryption. So if you want to find out more and get a better detailed understanding of FPJ encryption, I suggest you type in Xilinx Bitstream Encryption and then read through this document over here. Uh, it's a 15-page document and it will explain most of what you can do to encrypt your bitstream. There are also some advanced techniques that you can use to encrypt your bitstream. Okay, so those are the three questions and thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you then.